Hey, what's going on guys? Tactical Civilian here, also known as Ben. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this uh, new shotgun that I picked up uh, last week. We're gonna be taking a look at the Stevens 555 double barrel shotgun. All right guys, so let's hop straight into this review. Today I have the Stevens 555 double barrel over and under shotgun chambered in 12 gauge. This shotgun will shoot two and three fourths and three inch uh, shells for you. Coming in with the barrel, we have a 28 inch barrel. I guess in this case I should say barrels. You have two very nice barrels. Uh, initial thoughts on the gun. This feels very, very nice in my hands. It's very light. It's got a very good ergonomical feel to it. It's got some nice, checkered wood on here um, which gives you a little bit of grip it's not the best but it is pretty good for what the price range of this shotgun is because if you are looking to get into the double barrel market of shotguns once you do just a little bit of research you will come to find that these bad boys right here can be very very expensive running up to the ranges of anywhere between two thousand and three thousand dollars and in other cases you can get way more expensive than that um, savage arms and stevens they work together to make a really good shotgun for basically an uh, economy level guy someone who's not looking to spend a crazy amount of money which basically means sub a sub thousand dollars and so i believe i picked this gun up after taxes background check fee all that i believe it was just under 800 bucks so i believe that to be a very great deal especially because if we look at exactly what we're getting um i think you guys would agree too starting back here if we look at the wood that we have on this shotgun here we have a turkish walnut wood and what i love about the what what i love about this shotgun in particular is it's real wood you have real wood on here uh you can tell that someone took some time to really make this shotgun look clean and flush and just with some of these newer shotguns coming out they're using a fake wood to put on most of their guns and it, they just don't look good so i really appreciate them putting a real wood into this gun if we look at the receiver part of this firearm you will see that it looks pretty normal but this is a aluminum steel reinforced receiver so basically what that means is it's a lot lighter that's why it's only six and a half pounds it is a super light firearm the con to it being incredibly light and easy to carry around in the field is it's prone for more kickback and recoil now i shot this gun about maybe 15 times yesterday and let me tell you my shoulder is a little sore. I heard some reviewers say that it made their shoulder pretty sore and it has a pretty good kick. I thought they were pussies. I was very humbled yesterday when I came out here and now I have a little bit of a sore shoulder. Hell of a fun gun to shoot by all means, but it definitely has a little bit more of a kick. That's why you'll see Savage Arms went on ahead and they put this about almost an inch and a half thick rubberized recoil pad on here to help you really shoulder that and help mitigate some of that recoil that you're going to face with it being an aluminum receiver now how we open up the shotgun and basically load it it's pretty simple you have a lever right here in the center of the firearm you are going to push it to the right hand side that'll drop your barrel you load your two 12 gauge shells in there whether it being a two and three fourths or a three inch shell go up now here's the part that i want to show you guys with the safety if you want to take a quick look here it's your pretty normal safety you see you have an s there's no red dot so we're on safe we push it up now we're on fire but here's the thing if you look at it if you look right here there's a little tiny u i know it's hard to see but that means that stands for under so if i have it in this position it's going to shoot the bottom barrel or the under barrel first if i pull it to the left you'll see that now it has an O, which means if I push this up and I go to fire the weapon, it'll shoot the top barrel first. So I really like that they gave you the option to pick which barrel you like you would like to shoot first. And so that's just a cool little feature that I thought I had to show you guys because some of the reviews I watched, they didn't properly point that out. And I think that's a good safety key feature. 
if you look onto your sights, it's kind of hard to see, you have just your straight rail, but you have a one bead system at the top. So basically you point your bead at the bird or whatever your target is and wherever that bead is pointing, that's where the round is going to go. You do not have the two bead system, which me personally, I would have loved to see a second bead back here just for quicker sight alignment and that sort of thing. Me personally, it helps me, but um, I like to see that I'll be getting used to using just the one point bead system here. Now, if we look at these well-crafted barrels, you will see you have two ventilation port systems built into the, into the shotgun here. You have a top ventilation rail system, and then you have a mid ventilation rail system going in here. This is just basically to help keep the heat down. This gun is by no means meant to shoot hundreds and hundreds of rounds weekend after weekend after weekend because this gun will break down pretty quick and pretty significantly, at least from the research that I have done. Again, I've only had this gun a few weeks, and so I would like, I'm uh, really excited to see where this will go as we continue on. But from some of the reviews I've heard, they do say that if you shoot this a lot and you make it like your primary gun that you shoot at the range, it's gonna wear and tear a lot easier and a lot faster than some of the more expensive double barrel shotguns. All right, and so now guys, I wanna do a quick trigger pull and a test for you guys. And so I'm just gonna show you one more time. We are empty. We don't have anything in our firearm. So we are completely safe to do the trigger pull. Now I'm gonna take it off safety. Initially, there is a tad bit of play. I would say just about a couple centimeters of play in there where you can then feel the wall. Once you reach the wall, it is very tough initially, but then you can slowly feel it squeeze and then I talked over it. So let me do it again for you guys. Here we go, find the wall. Very nice, it's pretty smooth. Again, it's a brand new firearm, so it could be just, a, still needs to be worked in a little bit more, but that is probably right around a six and a half, seven pound trigger pull. I'd say closer to six and a half uh, rather than seven, but yeah, we're looking right around that gauge for the trigger pull. If we go on ahead and look up here, this shotgun, I was pretty surprised. I did not know this when I purchased the firearm. It comes with five flush mount chokes. It comes with cylinder, and uh, improved cylinder, mod, improved mod, and full choke. Uh, in here right now, I have the cylinder and improved cylinder. And so it's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna have my cameraman move out of the way here. Uh, you have a one, two, three, four, five notch down here. And then we have the four notch up top. So we have the cylinder and then improved cylinder right here for you. All right, so now we're gonna do a quick little test shoot for you guys. Just got a little steel target down there just to see initially how this bad boy is gonna shoot. Like I said, I shot it a couple times yesterday. Shoulder feels a little sore, so let's see. forgot to mention that I feel at this point is a good thing to mention. This shotgun does not have auto ejectors. I know some people that's a dead giveaway to not get a gun is if it doesn't have the ones that'll just spew them out. Me personally so far I've enjoyed it so yeah these don't have auto ejectors and yeah this thing packs a little bit of a punch. All right we got the boy Andrew he's gonna take a shot for us here. First time ever shooting an over under barrel. Nice. You are not lying about that kick. Holy yeah, shit. It's got a little bit of a kick there, huh? That's a pretty good one. All right, now me and Andrew are going to do a little bit of a competition shoot. We're going to do best of six on the clay pigeon. So we're going to go two at a time for a total of three rounds. Best of six wins.
right, here we go. Andrew's first round of two. Oh. Two for Andrew. Oh. Clipped it. You clipped it. He clipped it. Oh. All right. So we're on round three out of three. Me, Ben, I have the score of four out of four. Andrew here has got the score of three of four. I'm going to have him shoot first since I'm up ahead. Final round of uh, three. Andrew has a score of five of six. I have the score of four of four. Let's see if I can't knock these two out of the sky and win the challenge here. That being said, I kicked Andrew's ass. <laughs> I took the dub with a perfect score of 100. He had like, what, a 90%? 90%. 90%, 90%. 90% gets an A. Good job, Good sir. Game, sir. Good game. All right, guys. And so I think that's all I really got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review of the Stevens 555 double barrel shotgun chambered in 12 gauge, shooting the two and three fourths and three inch slugs. Uh, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please go on ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. So yeah, I think that's all I got for him. You got anything else to add? Subscribe. Yes, sir. We'll see you next time. Bye. Have a great time.